why Philippines does that, right? And mm. up until recently, Cambodia used to do that as well. But they've really stepped up. So we'll see if they would break some trends here in the Philippines. I mean, they are one of the big capital for esports within Southeast Asia. I'd like to see them go on a bit more a brave coming into this next Miramar map. And we can see the flight path takes uh, an adjacent line uh, towards Cruz de Bell, Tierra, Bronca, and Campo Militar. They, all these locations in which previously teams does not have access into now, open free for all. It's gonna be rough, I think, for a lot of teams if the circle was to play as, you know, as I would say, water circle, I would say before but i don't know i'm i sort of i'm feeling it. i'm feeling a more centralized circle so we might just see the might of all the teams properly this time around regardless as you to come back to you know to what you said about the philippines yeah it is it is rough as number one number two i think that for philippines i think that for to, since they came into like the big leagues of um, pubg mobile i think it was last year they have shown tremendous improvement. I think in that one year, there is a lot of expectation. There is a lot of improvements oh. coming through. Um, I would say this is an all right circle toward the western side of Los Leones. But uh, look at Vietnam 1 already in the middle of the circle. Whether or not they want to do the same thing as their brother team did might be a whole different story in itself. And we're already seeing a bit of a circus skirmish. I can see Indonesia red face actually almost trying to run him over. Thankfully, he was able to dodge that. You know who's thrown off their game right now? Philippines. Ooh. Both teams inside the circle. So how do you play um, late entry when you're right now at the edge and everyone else is going to come from behind you? You have to play That's gatekeeper. Scary. So Wait, this so this is right now, they're not in their comfort zone. This he's is... To, uh, he's just going back for yeah, him? Yeah, oh, of course, he's trying no. to roll him over. He's... He, they do just it, landed. It. They've got no. They've got no. No. No firearms right now. <laughs> and all he has to do is not miss, which is relatively hard with the yeah, turn rate. Yeah, it is very hard. <laughs> I mean, A to Z. Oh, here comes oh. another one. Never mind. He's, He's got like, a gun. Yes. Who cares about <laughs> running him over when I have a gun? Come here, my friend. Bring you down. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's easy pickings, but <laughs> uneventful. I, I'd like to see them actually go in and try and roll one over, yeah, like just for I mean, sport. <laughs> uh. I mean, they they were the two teams that were fighting for those. I would say those vehicles early, and Redface was really good at wasting their time until Rosemary came around with a gun and like, yep, yeah, I'll I'll just I'll, I'll let you handle them. <laughs> He's got three two bit. kills. Yeah. Could be what makes the difference between him and his teammate from getting the MVP. Think For about sure. That. <laughs> and on top of that, it's Indonesia 2 once again. As I said before, they are not afraid to go all in. They jump in the water, both feet down. No hesitation. And this is what makes them just so scary to deal with. It's kind of like a situation where how do you deal with a madman just waving around and just shooting everyone, right? And how do you deal with that when, they are, when there's no sense of... I would say fear in their eyes in terms of how they play. I don't know, you can't rationale with crazy, man. That sounds a man with nothing to lose. That sounds like a, a lunatic right there. Yeah, that's exactly what Indonesia is doing. It's, it's a very scary way of playing. High risk, but definitely high reward. And the rewards are really showing with 35 points already. And about what? Mm -hmm. So many points into map number two. It's a big game of catch up for them, honestly. Especially, you know, the fact that they didn't really place as close as Vietnam did in map number one. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, you're, you're right on that note. On a, on a psychological perspective, if I'm only five points behind the, na the number one guy, I'd be a bit more hungry just to kind of get those points faster towards my way. But that also opens them to a, 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 a well, I would say a lump sum of potential human errors, right? Because now you're clouded, your judgment's clouded. All you want is to run in and get the kill, get the gun down. And what if this could be that very reason you get your entire team wiped out by breaking formations by straying away from the great game plan so i guess you could call it a blessing and a curse um speaking yeah. about blessings though brunei finally made their way into the big leagues finally get themselves represented in the pubg mobile ecosystem but haven't really shown much since their iesf performance in which they got a i think it was a top three uh, finish I could be wrong though, my history is not the best, but here they are, <laughs> they have to do something different. 
Yeah, I think for Brunei, they've been really unlucky. They've been the kind of team like, okay, we'll take this fight, uh, get a pick perhaps, and then they just get so unlucky as they're not able to really clean up the house. Like, yeah, they get one pick, but at the expense of the rest of their team can be very, very, I would say, unfortunate. But for Cambodia, I think that their rotations have been very, very similar between the two teams, which is what we, re we see in the previous map just now where they would see both uh, Cambodian teams fighting each other and taking each other out. But this time around, the team that they're meeting first will be Thailand, and they're already, look at that, Barry! Here, sorry. Already so aggressively shooting forward, got Tuni already on the vehicle trying to push out Ooh. as Beer wastes their time, makes it a little bit more aggressive. Got Tuni meeting up with his teammate, and they're saying, Okay, it's best for us to just move out of the way. We're just trying to go for those picks, but we don't have to fully commit to this fight, not this early. Wait, what is actually happening? So this happens a lot in CEC. Cambodia likes to share a compound with big teams like Thailand, but it this is the first time I'm seeing Thailand fleeing from the fight. I guess they're not feeling too hot this time around, or at least today during the qualifiers, because I mean, they would have early. never ran away from the fight. Yeah, it's still very, very early, and I think that in this situation, uh, given the fact to where they are right now, 13th place and 14th place. They want to be able to survive a little bit longer and collect more points as we move toward, you know, the 4th and the 5th and the 6th map. Again, this is the tipping point. And, you know, as you said before, a change in, in play style is definitely what we can expect, especially given the fact that today uh, on, the, um, on the stage, we only have one day of qualifier. One day indeed, and that, that's got to sink in. That reality is... Is a tough pill to swallow, not gonna lie, right? Team of Leste, only one point each. It's almost seeming like that they're already solidifying their set themselves at the bottom. But of course, one good game could circumvent that. Again, they're playing to be within uh, the, the top 16, so they don't really have to come out as champions for today, but they have to do something real fast because with one point and uh, three games has passed. There's not much left within the pool. Thankfully for the rest of the competitions, that majority of the points has been accumulated at a top two position. Right now, Philippines, again, taking edge circle, making their entry in. Philippines on the top side, Philippines on the bottom. But, whoa, Philippines won. Going straight into the middle ground where all hells break loose. So right now, doing already a different maneuver than what they did previously. Oh, look, he did blew up that vehicle. But I didn't get a pick. So that means the player was able to get out safely. But I look at how many players are there to the high ground and shoot my swear out. Everyone is fighting for the high ground. They learned a lot from the last game, how Vietnam to got a lot of value from that. But this time around, Vietnam 2 is okay with playing toward the bottom side. Again, Malaysia 1, they're always the last team inside of the circle, but they're always a team that is okay with being last, but is always good enough in terms of rotation to win these fights. They are a little, I think, in my opinion, they go out a little bit too early as, I w as much as I would like to them to be, but they are a team that's very, very aggressive. Now, as the circle does pull up toward the northeastern side, Everyone is scrambling down the high grounds of Chumacera. And again, I don't know what is going on, but Vietnamese Team 2 has been really on the ball when it comes to kind of like figuring out or predicting the circle because they had a good area of the compound on the lower side and they weren't even miffed. They're in the middle of the circle once again. So when they say third time's a charm, it could also mean them and the third chicken dinner. It seems. With the, well, yeah, with the, yeah. I don't know how they do this. Their prediction is just so good. Like, mostly, I mean, for a lot of teams, they would just go to the smackdown middle of the circle, which allows them for easier access of rotation. Also, it's more predictable way of how a circle would move. But these ping pongs it just, just works out so well in their favor. Mika, great opening. Does find one. Unfortunately, not able to see the rest. Now, for Myanmar, their eyes on the Philippines team. And for Philippines, we're just, just talking about them just now, how they are in a very scary situation. They have two teams, and they want to bring both uh, teams, if possible, into the qualifiers. Now again, Thai team, inside the compound, ah. they are very aware that Cambodia 2 is on the outside. Yeah, now this is something that I've been talking about earlier on. There's no way Thailand runs away here. This time around, especially with Cambodia, the ones knocking onto their compound, they're the ones being challenged. Thailand's always there to gladly um, take on a challenge with a smile. They, are, they do come from the land with many smiles. But they have to be careful, though. Logan, 
top floor has got his eyesight in case any one of those cover fires come in from the far end here. They're just trying to go and peek to get a glimpse or a hint of information of where the members of Cambodia are right now, not taking that risk. They will make their way into the uh, compounds in the back and side, or perhaps they could come in with something a bit more daring and try and circle with these car with accessibility to these vehicles, going on the flank side and maybe catch Cambodia out of their worst position. But right now, Philippines finally paying off here. They did try and push in on the top end side, but that's what I'm talking about when it comes to support cover fires from the hill end. They take out members from Philippines immediately cancels the nade that was been primed but he is about one person right now and Mascardo coming out with the DBS oh Philippines dropping like flies left down center Mascardo trying to one and one with Rome, Romeo boy will it be a happy ending or will it be as the original Romeo and Juliet a failure at the end very poetic, honestly, as Artate is just trying to fight for his life. Romeo Bear is still holding on the flank. It's Mascardo. He's trying to use Artate to really try and lure Mascardo out. But eventually, he does get him out of the way because Mascardo took a little bit too long to just come out. Both teams picking up that nade. Oh, Mascardo eats out that, that damage from the blue zone. Loki did get clipped a little bit damage, but it's okay. He does have a lot of resources to work with. He will stay in this blue zone for as long as he can. Because Loki, he is going to be the hawk eye for the team, giving the information on where the other teams are. Myanmar 1, they have a lot of control on this area from the high grounds all the way to the other side of that valley. But all of them are playing inside the blue zone. And this is not the best situation for them because too long here means a lot of depletion of resources and you really don't want that. Romeo Boy is able to get on a vehicle to get out of there alive if he wants to. He can reconvene his teammate, but this point is a little bit too important for them as for Vietnam 2, again, meeting up with Vietnamese 1. So much about sharing that uh, chicken dinner not going to be happening right now, and I don't think they're aware. They should play a bit more selfish. It is all a man for themselves here. Oh, well, maybe not this event, the individual event, so I've got myself lost in time, but Talking about being selfish though, Brunei is literally the only man for himself as they are the only team to represent the region and right now again, three games in a row getting shot down before they could do anything. They're barely playing at this point, they're playing to survive and even that they're struggling down in oh, 19th so place. Zero elimination, that is zero points going across their board and as you can see their position drifts further and further closer now to the bottom three in which Malaysia separates them from elimination. Very unfortunate situation for Brunei. They want to be able to play catch up here. Vietnam 2 goes to, if you remember in the previous map, he was the only player to have been knocked out so soon. I think he wants to change this, wants to be able to play with his team, at least toward the end. Here's Yummy, gonna cook up that nade. Has their eyes onto Vietnam 2. And this is a very interesting, I would say, predicament. These two teams have been meeting up a lot toward the last part of the circle. And this time around, if they do take this fight, we may be seeing a different outcome for these two teams who will be surviving toward the end. Smokes out here for Yummy, gives him a little bit of cover, a little bit of space to work with. And for Gosu, even though he did get that reset, he will be the one getting a brunt of that damage. And a lot of eyes are on him. Hornbit knocked, Lapar coming up forward for that revive. Trong is going to be the one trying to push out here. But we have Satar on the other side, giving all that information. Long range shots is what he's trying to go for. But they have to be careful Malaysia, because the rotation no? is also Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia might just stop him because, oh, actually, they just choose to ignore. They're driving no, past Malaysia, by. Yeah, they don't really <laughs> try to go into these big fights early. They don't want to go out too early. In this position at 6th place, they are very comfortable, but they're in a position where at 11, 12, 13, 14 place can just catch up with them if they make a single mistake. And they don't want to go out back to the lobby with zero points. As the we but, see here toward the a quarter of the circle, the high ground there, look at how many teams are stuck here. But it is Micah and Yuhai. They're, all they're good for is to run in and gun. <laughs> they're, they're wasting their potential just running away. But I mean, maybe perhaps they, maybe, yeah, take a take a recipe from the winning team, right? Play it safe a little bit. But even your winning team might find themselves in sticky situations right now. As Indonesia, they've recovered that one member who was down on his knees now up and running. They have the high ground too. If I was Vietnam, I'd count my eggs and bless and get the heck out of there. Yeah, but this time around, Cambodia is not the team to meet with their brother team. It's Vietnam. 
So it's a little bit more uh, quiet for Cambodia, honestly. They have this corner of the circle held down. It's a nice area for you to farm those uh, those players coming through the circle. And you can see there is a team at least outside. So they can go for the sprays, they can play inside, they can lure the inside to play oh, as no. CQC. But this one time around, Mika is unfortunately, his, uh, his vehicle is on fire and Satar will be taking a lot of damage there. Not sure if he's actually knocked out, but yeah, yes, he does. Unfortunately, this time around, he will not be the one left alive. You Hai! See the brunt of that damage, despite the ghillie suit does get spotted out here. You can see if some smokes come out, just give a little bit more space. It's even a little bit of healing as well, as the other members of, uh, of Malaysia won. While they did do very well in the previous map, they were unfortunately eliminated a little bit too early with only one placement point. Nades come out for Indonesia too. Scary predicament and scary area to be in. Well, Malaysia, they, this is prime opportunity for them to kind of shoot down the barrel if they want to, but it seems that they're straying further and further from God. Meanwhile, though, Vietnam, it is just easy pickings. They have got them all surrounded here. Poured back against the wall. Indonesia found themselves in a sticky situation, but Malaysia coming in to maybe come in with the third party. They're quite nearby. Indonesia, they're definitely not making out of this one alive, but I could be wrong. Vietnam has got them on one end, Malaysia on the other. How do they play their way out of this? Smokes are running out. Vietnam making a push on forward. And Indonesia. Oh, actually gets one of the throngs. So that's one member down. Even the odds is 2v2. But proning forward, it's one member. Gets one of the pawn pit. Lapar, Yanni is on the top end though. He was trying to go in with the flank side. They knew their location of Ghost of God. Ghost of is missing those shots. And who will he go down to? Yanni! Wins that clutch, turns the tide, and now Indonesia has got one member up against the odds. Maybe, actually, no, Quan Ji got that kill. He's going to secure the two more. It is only one player each from both sides, Vietnam and Indonesia too. The top two victors now, only one can remain. And Nades is coming down from Yummy. He has been priming it. It's one member here. Should Quan Ji actually win this trade-off, he could actually go in and save Ghost oh. and he does! Eliminate it! it! Is the Indonesians once again denied from a potential chicken dinner? It is Vietnam who will go in with the pickup. Look at Thailand though, they are a team in trouble. Nuzi trying to rectify this very scary predicament. Two of his teammates are down! But Thailand, unfortunate for them. The team with the highest power, power we've seen in the region. 16th place and only one elimination with Cambodia coming up on top. Not too sure what happened there. As for Malaysia 2, with 3 points right now, 1 elimination. They are 16th place right now. Not in the best situation to be in. They want to change that. The smokes are out here from Myanmar. They want to be able to come out of this alive. But for Malaysia, even though they don't have the circle, they do have the high ground. They can go a little bit more aggressive. Yen, marking Smile, a lot of information, nice. a lot of damage as well. Yen eats the damage from that nade, and Smile will be immediately lobbied. Chi staying very quiet in the corner. Doesn't look like Yen will be spotted out by Flash Softy, and suddenly the other is praying and praying, and, is, and, the, and the prone saves his life. Zero eliminations for Myanmar 2, 15th place. Battle of the wild cards about to commence in front of us. It is white, red, and blue for both sides, Philippines and Cambodia. But the top has got eyes onto Malaysia too. So they could come in. As we all know, Cambodia, king of the third parties. But right now, Philippines in big trouble. Go into the side of Nang X. They could be in big trouble. They're running towards the direction of spray down, but they just crashed in. Takes easy in the process. Joseph, the Italians, gets onto Rosello. We'll take the members of the Philippines, but exposing himself in the process. Easy pickings for the Philippines, and now it is down to the wire here as Lobasta will fall off. And I think that should be what seals the deal, hammers the nail into the coffin. Oh, actually, Philippines still around, though. One member still living. They cannot make this mistake. This is a matter of playing for another round or going down here. Casido, last man standing for Philippines. He's trying to go in with the pickup though, but he has the Molotovs in hand. He kind of get the idea of where these members are and might just go in and throw one nade in, but this one's coming in as a third party. It's coming from Rosemary. Yeah, this is a very, very scary situation. They did get the reset. Barod will be able to get that heal up. Molly just take a little bit of space and Rosemary with the sprays. John in trouble. Rosemary fears nothing. Puts in the damage. 
sends him immediately to the lobby. His teammates were not able to back him out at all. Indonesia 1 coming in with a mission. And it is to catch up with his brother's team. And Casido still hasn't moved quite yet. Rosemary cooking up that need. Understanding that the Philippines now in trouble. Managed to get that reset. But look at the damage taken up by Casido. Fortunately, none of the duos will be hitting. Casido trying to reconvene with his teammate. They're both so very low. Fighting with that blue zone. They can go for that reset. But Indonesia 1 has them in a chokehold. They cannot move forward without getting risked. Being sprayed off by the other members of Indonesia. Potato will be the first one forward. Nice little reposition with the vehicle. Very aware that Lawa is right behind. And look at the sprays come out. And immediately two members of Philippines taken out just like that. They have to be careful though, this could very well turn sour for the likes of Indonesia, but again, Vietnam, they're just eagles soaring the sky right now, king of the hills, everyone bowing at their feet, they will have to fight their way just to get up onto Vietnam, and by then, you're most likely dead than not. Six eliminations already for the squad, Vietnam, second team, really trying to draw in the leads here, um, further and further away from Indonesia's second team. Because of that skirmish, turning successful for the Vietnamese here. Guerrilla warfare is their tactic. It's working out so well for them. This time around, Vietnam too. You know they lost two this time around. They have their eyes on Malaysia too right now. The nade, fortunately, barely hits Malaysia too. But this low ground is not doing them any favors. We know that Kong can be very, very aggressive if he wants to, but he's down to his final nade. And he'll be using everything in his arsenal to bring down the heart. Echo with the reposition, his friends away by his vehicle, barely missing that nade. Those smokes give them a lot of Ooh, value. How? Allows the reposition, but Snipes, how on earth does he get that shot from down there? We gotta see where Snipes positioned right now because I am pretty sure he wasn't down in the foothills. But until that one comes right now, eyes onto the Thai squad still in the area right now, trying to push onto this Vietnamese Here squad. Comes the who has. Yeah, he's got the compound, but Frankie's still alive, tries to shoot on it, but will fall out in the trade. And Vietnam from all the outsides coming on clean will take Malaysia. Well, actually, Malaysia is the one with the five kills. They yeah. successfully contained that compound, leaving only two members of Vietnam, uh, the first team, to play in for the game here. Meanwhile, Thailand and finally trying to get some kills onto their side. will scout out members from Cambodia and eliminate them at 12th place. They do have three kills, so they don't go out empty-handed. But Malaysia, seemingly like they flipped the switch, they're ready to play. They had learned from the last map. They're really utilizing what they've learned into this one. Because it was very, still on a killing spree. Indonesia won. Still on a rampage. But speaking of that, Thailand was in trouble earlier. Still holding the line. Rosemary, two already in his pocket. Can always see Laos taking out Thailand as well on the other side. But not too sure what's going on here as Laos does get that heal. That reset. Gosu as well does go down. Not too sure where Cambodia is. And Gosu does go down to the play zone. Mela taking a lot of damage from that molly. Logan will be coming forward here trying to just really back out his teammate but does go down eventually. Logan is so very low but Cambodia, they want to bring the hurt. Welcome to the ouch they say but uh, Thailand, Can Logan they're not this though. Yeah, it's gonna be really yeah. hard though. He's so very low and he does go ah, down eventually. So close. There we go. Uh, he could have played the outplayed them. They they couldn't get the nades onto him. They couldn't pinpoint his actual trajectory. He could have taken one man down and immediately translates to the other. If it wasn't for the backstab of Laos, well, we don't get to see the greatness that is Logan in that very moment. But it's all right. Malaysia still in the game here. Chua G H as well. The last remaining member. Actually, no, he's got a friend from Vietnam within the same team. But he is by himself, and he has to play as if this was an individual event. Right now, <laughs> cornered. A blue zone right next behind him. He's hiding behind boxes at this point. Now, this doesn't feel very good. But if he can make his way out of this one, he's, that's, that's a, a, a plot to him. I think for Malaysia, they, they're still marking him. Malaysia is right outside. Jumper has his eye onto Rosemary. 
the other two Indonesian players for Indonesia won. This is where they want to do the comeback. Regardless of the kill speed, Kaya for Cambodia, another point in the pocket. TLS as well, so very close by. Aos with the sprays, unfortunately, will go down to Kaya. That peak will be punished at least, but it will at least be rectified. Allows them for that reset. But for the other members of Cambodia, they want to go for that push. And look at that molly. It's a lot of damage. Vietnam 1 goes down, zero kills. Down the top, still just pushing forward. There's no breathing at all. No breathing room for Laos. And they go down. Cambodians, you can see how happy they are this outcome. They had a DBS too. It's, it was impossible for him to miss. But he's got to be careful though. Devan X. This guy, the group of Laos, who's about to just gun down his entire vehicle. And that could be very, very um, sour really fast. Right now, Civil War again. Malaysians gunning down each other for this position. Damn good. Taking the far too much damage here. Sliver of HP, but he will eventually go down. That would be damn good. Taking a hit by the Cambodians. Malaysia too this time around surviving very well despite not having a tickle. Black Wolfie will be picking up here. They'll be meeting up with Malaysia. One, this is not the outcome they want. They do go down. And this time around, Yen is fighting two at the same time. Cambodia two, five eliminations already. And this time around, every man for himself. Vavel straight smack dab in the middle of an open area behind a vehicle. His teammate Redface is close by. At least he's there for the trade. Unfortunately for TLS, does go down to the blue zone here. They do have two eliminations. The other members of Malaysia will get that reset. Cut of sound, cut of noise, just to really allow them to reposition. Make them really wonder where exactly they're going to be. But for Indonesia, this aggression clearly is something that we can expect from both teams here. They have full control of the circle. They're just driving around as though they own this open area. No problem at all. And they'll be taking the area. They do get hit by some shots, but no fault just yet. Vavel aggressively pushing up towards Snipes, but Snipes have not reacted at all. Well, good, good news for the Malaysian fans. Finally, this time around, two Malaysian teams in the top five position. Laos found their way up here and have all members up and running as well. And a compound to add on to that favors uh, their way. Cambodia and Indonesia with three members each. This is a turnout nobody would have seen uh, based on the past two games that we have played. It is the tipping point right now. Yen and Jumper will have to die off in the blue, denying points, but that just means green light for the rest of Indonesia to go in, get snipes onto the ground, but now they've taken a bunch of hit. They are wor looking worse than where right now. Cambodia snake in the grass, trying to make their way, closing in onto the Indonesians, but it is Laos who made their position known by shooting against the Cambodians here. Their host country, they are born and bred in this very land in which they uh, are competing in the game of PUBG Mobile and they are about to make a statement here. Laos pushing up against two teams, have no clue, no directions at all. Could be a high risk, high reward trying to situation. Blackout has got the nades on, catches on the Kaya. That's one member down. Devon Axe shoots a bit backwards, oh, but will not secure the kill and that is Cambodia would find two of their members out of play, only one left to live. Yeah, but look at Laos, one with four members still very much alive. Oh. Cambodia two, their final member now down and out. Laos and Indonesia will be taking the final spot here. Potato still in the aggression, so very low. Enough to take one out. Vavel gonna be repositioning his teammate. Redface will be the oh, one up face. forward here. Surprise. Enough information, rushing up forward. The spray has come out. Oh my and god, he's doing it. He still survives. How are you doing one more member of Laos to worry about. Honda goes down. La Prosa as well. Still holding down the line. Ten eliminations for Indonesia. Smokes out for Porza. He's not moving at all. But the amount of space Indonesia has right now from different areas make it so hard. And what he can do here is he's play in the, the blue points. zone. And he's not going to deny points. And winner, winner, chicken dinner finally given to Indonesian one. My god, after that performance, if I was on the members from Laos, I would have just given my way to the...